Hello. Uh, this time we have a script called last update, which will print out some uh, text and uh, timestamp. And we'd like to make sure that the function that generates this uh, string works properly. So let's copy paste the, the actual output that we see. This is the script. It uses the date time module and it has a simple function called last update, which will return the, that, that string. Um, the question, how can we test this? And um, well, the first thing is that usually when I test something, I like to have the output in front of my eyes, so just copy, uh, copy the result here. And then the, the immediately a reaction might be that to use the, the is function, so there is the last update that returns the string, and we can compare to the actual string that we received uh, just now. We, of course, have to load the test more module and plan for one uh, unit test, but that's it, basically. Now we can go ahead and run the test. And running the test, you see, it's, it seems broken. Uh, if you look closely, you can actually see that it's funny because the timestamp is was the same second, 11 seconds, but as you can see, the, the, the minute is different. And of course, uh, every time you're going to run this script, it will return a different timestamp. So can't, we can't really expect to have an exact match at any time, except, except of that specific time when I run the original script. So what can we do? Well, uh, one of the things we can do is that we just disregard the whole day thing. Of course, in that case, we are not going to use is, we are going to use a regular expression, and then we use OK just to see the, the result, whether it's true or uh, failed or succeeded. So now we get the return from the last update, and then we use the regular expression to match this part of the, the fixed part of the, of the um, returned value. And if you run the script, it's fine. It says OK. Now that's fine, but what happens if someone uh, changes the actual code? And, and just to, to be clear, normally the, the, the function under test will be in a separate module, not in the same one, script. So we changed the, the result and, and the, it was still OK. But we don't really see what the new result is, so let's call this, this diag function uh, and return uh, print out the, the result of last update. So, as you can see, the, the timestamp actually changed for only showing the day uh, without showing the actually hour, minute, and second. Uh, it might be the case that this is what we want, and this is okay that uh, the, the test still passes, but what if uh, we want something more specific? So, we could use, actually, a, a much better regular expression. We could match not only the string, but also the time part, but instead of having a, a, a specific uh, date to match, we can use the backslash D to match a digit, and we know the exact format, so we know that it's four digits for the year, then two for the day, months, two for the day, and so on. So we can write down the exact match, we can even put a dollar sign at the end, and a carrot at the beginning, to describe the whole thing. Uh, so now we're going to have actually two test cases, so we update that. The first one is just uh, to show that it is, it's still passing, the OK. And the second one, we slightly fix it now so it will fit in the, the, the screen and, uh, more nicely. And now we can run the script, run the test. And the first one passes because it doesn't check anything uh, regarding the date, and the second one fails. So that's good because now it fails the, the new format, but we don't really see why did it fail. We, didn't see, we don't know what we actually got, we don't know what we expected. So let's create a new test case just to show, show, show that uh, what the difference in between these and instead of using OK we're going to use like. Like receives three parameters. Uh, the first one is the actual result, the second one is a regular expression created by QR and the third one is optional which is uh, I'm not using here which is just the name of the test as it was in for, for is or OK. If you run this this time it will, you will see that the first thing is the diagnostic message that's there, the second one, OK1, okay one, is OK, the second test failed, and the third one, is, which is the interesting one, is where it actually prints, beyond the failure, it actually prints the actual data received and the regular expression we were expecting. It's much easier now to recognize what the problem might be. 
So now someone goes in, fixes the script, the actual module, the actual code, and running again the test, now everything passes. So now we have a test case which is a more specific, it's not exact match, but it's much better than not testing the value at all.